Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. I have the red shave of the day going on today. Well, today we're going to be doing the Edwin Jagger. It's the, what, citrus and pomegranate. This one right here. It's the sample that uh, I got from Sig. Uh, put it into the bowl and it kind of swallowed it right up pretty good. Not much of a lather. It looks pretty creamy. You know, it worked out pretty good, but that's Edwin Jagger's uh, citrus and pomegranate. Smells really good when you get it up on the puck here. Definitely citrus with some kind of a rich, uh, earthy kind of notes coming out of this. It's a kind of a fruit, I guess, uh, plum kind of style fruit that you get, or uh, cran apple. That's what I'm... Because I don't have much, no experience with pomegranate. I've never had a pomegranate. I don't know. But that's kind of how it smells. It's kind of, kind of a plum slash cranberry style. There. And the whole sample went into the thing. And it's like, yeah, there's, there's some left in here. This big brush just swallowed it right up. But you really smell the citrus coming across. It's really nice. It's... Uh, Kind of a bergamot style or lime, lime bergamot. And the razor of the day is the Rockwell, Rockwell, yes, it's a Rockwell uh, 6R, uh, red, I think, something like that, with red persona blades. So red with red, there we go. And then we're gonna follow up with some Old Spice, which is red. So. A little bit of red across the board right here. And I haven't done this yet, but the first time ever for everything. A little Barbasol 1919. Doesn't take much. Put on a face. Like, like that much. We'll go pretty much everywhere on one side and equal amount on the other. It's just enough to add a little bit of slickness. When you add the water to it, it gets really slick. So, Barbasol 1919. Really good stuff. All right. So, add some moisture. Yeah, it's like slick. Really slick now. Works good. All right. So, here we go. We got the, the brush here. Oh, that's a little too much. Uh... This thing is like a lot of lather just soaked right up inside this brush. But it's the Yashi 24. Right there you can see it. Yeah. Uh, I think he said it was a tuxedo hit knot. It is what you would call a lather absorber. Really gets in there. It's really soft knot, that's for sure. And it soaked up the old lather right out of the bowl. It took me a, a few minutes to figure out. It's like these bigger knots, they do a heck of a job of compared to my uh, other one I use. It's like I have this. Oh, here's the other one. It's like here's the other one. It's like that. And this is the typical brush that I use probably 90% of the time. Look at that. It's like itty bitty compared to comparatively. Those things just soak up moisture compared to the one I'm used to using. I, I have it down to a science now where on the uh, that brush, I don't even think about it. I just go in autopilot. All right. I do have, I think I'm using this right from the instructions. It's like you put the number at the bottom so that you want to use. I'm just using the three plate on this. So we'll see how this works out with the three plate with these personas. I'm hearing some blade. We'll have to experiment with this one and see which head they prefer. I might even go with a, a four just to see what the four is like on it. When it is knocking it down, I do have roughly 25, 26 hours of growth on that. It's 
blades really it's a heavy razor that's for sure that's, i like i like heavy razors and the handle is just about right about the right length too Uh, I'm going to thank Sig for saying this to me. I like the color of this. This is a really nice color right there. It's kind of a sanguine. Sanguine red. With a slight metallic look to it. And I just have to figure out where it's going to fit into my rotation here. Where, and, uh, where I'm going to set it next to. It may go next to between the 1983 and my uh, Fat Boy. Mm. Yeah, seems to be doing the job. Not quite sure. It's like when I go against the grain is really going to be the telling point of seeing how it works out. Which head I want to use. Because it doesn't feel too aggressive. That's for sure the three doesn't. It's like when you know what over the years what different blades or razors have different feels. And this is not... See, the three head doesn't seem too aggressive. This is soft in the face. Actually, you could probably, yeah, I could easily scrub with this one. It's not, I don't think this would cause a, any razor or brush burn on me at all. With the how soft this is, but when I scrub, it seems to want to flick the soap everywhere <laughs> and all over my shirt. Now I'm gonna smell like citrus. Is that a big deal? Not that I'm gonna wear this shirt again. Yeah, typically, when you see these shirts right here, is like I it's like I, I shave with them, and if they get grimy, it's like eh, I got like. 20 something of them so it's not a big deal and the laundry it goes because typically when you get soap on them it's like then you get you know, white spots all over the all over it and it dries it's knocking it down you can hear that blade working Seems awful smooth. <clears throat> I like it. Seems to be a good razor. I was showing it to my wife. It was like, look what I got. And she was like, somebody sent that to you? And I was like, he started talking about Sig and what he did and what he sent. And she was like, that was very nice of him. I'm like, yes. Sig's a good guy. I say, where is he at? He's in Greenland. He's like, Greenland? <laughs> yeah. It's like, he has a shaving channel in Greenland. And she's like, I would never thought of anybody having a shaving channel in Greenland. It's like, well, it's a small population, but there's people there. I think the other day, I was, when on Friday... I was asking, I was like, about sending stuff, and the clerk that was in, behind the counter at the post office and said, uh, you know, to send stuff to Greenland, she was like, Greenland? What is Greenland? I was like, you never heard of Greenland? It's that country, that continent, right between Iceland and, and Canada, and she's like, there's a country up there? I was like, yeah like from Denmark but feels like I never heard of it like well, I'm surprised you work for the post office and you don't know what Greenland 
But I guess if you never had anything shipped there, you wouldn't know where it's at. Some people heard about Greenland back when our previous uh, administration said, yeah, we'd like to buy Greenland from you. <laughs> like, people are like, where the heck is Greenland? Like, yeah. Yeah, it's been, uh, uh, Amer we, Americans have been there for a long time, especially after, you know, during World War II. It's like, we basically took over Greenland in World War II. We made it into a base of operations, kind of like ferrying, um, it was a wayward stop, you know, you'd stop with aircraft and land there and refuel and, and move on to the next on the way to England. Now, if you watch that post-apocalyptic, or it was not post-apocalyptic, it was pre-apocalyptic movie, Greenland, where uh, Gerard Butler, I think, was in it, and who else was it? Uh, God, I can't remember her name now. All kinds of shows. I think she was on Firefly, but you know how the family's trying to. They get the 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 uh, lot. They win the lottery. Let's go against the grain here. This is the telling. And they go again. Get the lottery, and it's like yes, everybody has. You're going to Greenland, so they got to get on the flights to get there, and it's like a big asteroid ready to hit the Earth, and all life as we know it is coming to an end. Oh, so we had a base built there to it's not going to down. And it is just a few spots left. Yeah, that's doing a good job. Nice, smooth. I think three plate will work. I'm going to experiment, though. I'll probably put a four in just to see what it's like with the four. I probably won't go down to a two because this three plate right now is working just fine. But I'll see what a four is like. If it is too aggressive or just about right. Because I got that super speed, which I handle quite well as a, for its aggressiveness. And right now the three is feeling basically like a, my adjustable, my black beauty on a, probably a three also. I'm not feeling any burn or anything. Not exactly sure the gap on this. It might say on the sheet. I have to take a look. I just kind of like glanced at the sheet and they said, this is the instructions how to use it. And Sig said, yeah, you probably use a three. So I threw a three in. I like the system. You got six, three plates with six settings. So it's a three piece adjustable razor. Works. Kind of a brilliant idea. <sighs> and we heard that. Ah, shoulder. Now I gotta get this shave in today. I gotta go over 
help my daughter again today. Uh, makes it kind of hard for a regular schedule, but she's taking a day off from work. To, wants me to help her move stuff around. I can understand it. It's like if you got a heavy dresser, stuff like that, you want to move a couch. It helps if you have two people. You know, part of the thing with this razor is the weight. It's like I like heavy razors. They do a lot of work for you. All you gotta do is just allow it. Use the weight of it to get the job done for you. Alright, I think it's done. Razor seems to work pretty good. Hmm. Now the test will come. We'll see how it feels when I put on some Old Spice, because Old Spice, you know, it's got that alcohol burn that you get from it. But we'll see how that feels. Just a tingling right through here. That transition sign right across my jaw. Right there. Otherwise, I'm not feeling anything. That's comparable to what I typically feel like when I'm using the, uh, like an Edwin Jagger or the um, Mercor 34C. Very nice. Just a little bit and that's it. But interesting soap too. All right, better do that. So... That was Edwin Jagger's uh, Citrus and Pomegranate. Really nice soap. Too bad it's just a single-use sample, but it's enough to give you a good idea. I like the scent on it. It's really nice. And that was the uh, Rockwell 6... The 6R, I think it is. With Persona Blades. The Red! This is the Red Shave, pretty much. Works good. You can see that. Like, you know, you can get the old blade in there. You can see it. Kind of contrast silver and red. But you can see the blade now. A little bit of overhang on the side. So you got to watch it around the earlobes. But it's a nice razor. Setting three worked really good. I'll try setting four sometime just to see how it works. And that was the Yashi 24 knot synthetic. And that's the shave of the day. All thanks to Sig, except for the Old Spice, which I provided. All right. Hope you guys enjoy that one. And we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.